Okay, today we're going to go through the HSK level 1 words. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, translate them as well. The first uh, character is I. And I means uh, to love. And then the second character is, actually it's the second word. It's composed of two characters. And it's I, how. And it means basically a hobby. And then the third character is ba. Ba means eight in Chinese. For example, you can say e r san si wu yo qi ba jiu shi. That's one through ten in Chinese. Ba ba. Ba ba is a father. And then ba means a suggestion. Like, for example, in Chinese, if you say wo men zou, it means let's go. But if you want to make a polite suggestion, then you say wo men zou ba. And then bai. Bai se, bai means white, and then bai tian means um, daytime in Chinese. That's the number character number seven. Uh, actually, it's two two characters uh, making one word in Chinese. And then the next one is bai. What can you eat bai? That's a hundred. And then the next one is ban. Ban means class in Chinese. And then the next character is ban. Ban means half. Ban yen is another word um, that is composed of two Chinese characters, and it means half a year. Ban tian means um, basically half the day. Bang means to help someone. It's a verb. And wo gei ni bang mang. Bang mang. Mang is a favor. I will do a favor for you. Bao is to wrap something. Bao zi is a... Basically, bao zi is a uh, steamed bun, so you can eat that in China. It's really delicious. Bei, bei is a cup. Bei zi is basically a cup as well. So zi is basically means like an object, and you put it after a noun, and it just means it's a thing. So you don't normally say bei, you can say bei zi, and that means a cup. Bei means uh, the north, and Bei Bian, Bei Bian means um, uh, from the north. Uh, well, basically not from the north, but on the northern side. And then the next uh, character, uh, two characters are a word that represent the capital in China. In China. Beijing, um, so Beijing uh, is um, the capital, or Peking, or um, yeah, Peking in English or Beijing in English. Uh, bun, bun is a liang si, and it's a measure word like yi bun shu. And now the next one is bun zi. Bun zi is a um, notebook. And then you have bi. Bi is to compare. Bie, bie is to, is other, usually means other in Chinese. So bie de, wo yao bie de, means I want another one. Uh, or a different kind. Uh, 别人, 别人 is um, uh, basically like other people. And Bing is the next character. Bing means basically um, sick. Bingren is a, a sick person. Buda means is the next character. And Buda basically means not big. Budui means uh, not right. Bukachi, Bukachi uh, is uh, you're welcome. Bu yong is um, it's not necessary. Bu is no. Cai is is basically like vegetables um, or uh, food. And then ta ta is tea. He ta for example. And then uh, cha cha is like inferior. Or sometimes cha yar means like for example almost. And then chang chang in Chinese usually is put together with another word. So, for example, like two characters. So you would have like Chang Chang. Chang Chang means, uh, chang chang means um, basically often. Or Jing Chang means often or frequently. And then Chang. Chang is basically fourth tone and it means to sing. Uh, so the next uh, characters we have here are Chang Ge. Chang Ge means to sing. And Ge is a song. And Che is basically a car. Che piao. It could be a uh, cars, uh, like a ticket for 
going on a train, for example, or actually like a bus. So the, because you have 公交车 in China, so if you 买车票, that means uh, that you're buying a ticket uh, to get on the bus. But it could be also for a 火车 or 地铁. Uh, 火车 is a train and 地铁 is actually the subway or metro. So 车上 is means on in the car and then 车站 means a bus station or a train station. Um, 吃 means to eat. 吃饭 means to um, to eat food. And then 出 means 出 means to go out. And 出来, 出来 means to go out to the person who is speaking. So you're coming towards that person. So you're going out of a building or something and I'm outside and I'm the person speaking. Uh, I, I could say 你出来吧. That means like you come towards me. But if if both if the speaker is inside the building, then you say 你出出去,你出去吧. That means you should go out of the building, and we're both in the building. Now 穿穿衣服, for example, is to wear clothes. Uh, 穿鞋子 is to um, basically wear um, put some shoes on, and 床 is is basically a bed. 次 is a 两次, uh, like for example, 一次, 两次, uh, 三次, it means times. So 一次 is once, 两次 is twice. And uh, notice that you don't say, in Chinese, you don't say 二次, you say 两次 here. Um, so that's something to know. Now the next part, uh, next word, the next character is 从, and it means from. And then 错 is um, wrong. And you can say in Chinese, 不错, 不错 means not bad, but 没错 means uh, you're right, actually. So those are two different things. Now, 打 is a 动词, and basically 打 means to hit someone, or it means to do something, kind of. Like 打车 means to get like a taxi, for example, or uh, yeah, to basically get a taxi to go somewhere. 打电话 means to call someone. 打开 means basically to open something. 打球 means to play ball. So it could be, um, you know, 打篮球 means to play basketball. Or 踢足球, 打踢足球 uh, would be to play soccer. Now 打 means big. 打 is fourth tone. 大学 means um, university. And 大学生 means university student. 到 means to arrive. 得到 means to obtain. 地, uh, 地 is basically like the grounds, um, but it can also be used um, to create like an adverb, um, adverbial phrase. Uh, so, um, but that's quite complicated. So we'll just leave it as that. And then 的 means of, like 我的, 他的, Nida, uh, Nimanda, a woman da. So wa means I. Uh, and if you add the, it means mine. So if you say tada, it means his. Or it could mean hers, depending on whether ta is masculine or feminine. So whether it represents he or she, which you can only find out from the character in Chinese. So woman is woman is us. Uh, Niman is uh, you guys, and then uh, Taman is um, basically the uh, they. And so if you say Jishu Taman da, Je means this, and Shu means is, and Taman da means um, uh, it's theirs, uh, right? So uh, Dung, Dung, uh, Dung, and it says Dong Si. Uh, so, ni dong yi hua, dong yi hua means like, why don't you uh, wait a second? Um, Shao dong, it means wait a second. Um, so, di, they have di again. So, this di, I think is, sometimes di is pronounced as du, but, um, mm, so, uh, but here, uh, di means uh, ground, and so di dian is a destination. 地方, or 地方, uh, 地方 is basically a place. Uh, 地上 is on the floor. 地图 is basically a map. 
Didi is little brother. Uh, di, diiga, diarga. Diiga is the first, diarga is the second, disanga is the third. Now, all of these have similar pronunciations, but they actually have uh, their different characters. Now, um, another um, a word is dian, dian, and sometimes, um, so dian is like a point, okay? So, so that's also another word that is important in Chinese. And then, um, so it means basically, um, uh, you can also say san dian zhong, which is um, three o'clock, okay? Uh, dian is electricity. And then you have Dianhua. Dianhua is a phone call. Uh, so, um, and then Dianhao is a basically a computer. Dianshi is a um, television. Dianshiji is um, basically it's a um, um, television, right? So, what can Dianshi means I'm watching the television. But you don't say what can Dianshiji. But Dian Shi Ji is Ji means actually like a machine, so it's a television. Dian Ying is a movie. And Dian Ying Yuan is a movie theater. And Dong is East. Dong Bian is um, on the eastern side. Dong Xi is or Dong Xi is thing. Now uh Dong uh, means to move. And then Dong Zuo means movement. Do means all. And du means to read. Uh, du shu means to study something or to be studying at a certain university, for example, um, or it could be just reading a book. And then dui, dui means um, uh, that basically means yes. Um, so dui da, ni shuo de shi dui da, whatever you say is correct. Dui bu qi. Duibuqi means, um, I'm sorry. Duo means a lot. Duo xiao. Duo xiao means um, how much. Duo xiao qian means how much does this cost. Um, and then e. Wo hen e means I'm barely hungry. Er zi means er zi is your, your son, for example, a son. Not your, but son. And then er is, is two. Uh, but sometimes when you use are with another word you will say liang so that's important to know and for example the expression are by wu uh, means 250 but in Chinese that also means you're stupid um, now fan fan is um, food uh, so fan fan dian is a restaurant fan dian is a room fang zi is a building and then uh, fang fang is basically just to put something down and then fang jia fang jia means to basically um school is over it's a holiday fang xue means also like fang jia it means that school's over and then fei means to fly fei ji means uh an airplane fei tang means um very and there's another word in chinese that's very simple which is han and that means very fun E fun. Well, give me e fun. It means I will give you one, a piece or a slice of something. Okay. Then feng. Feng means wind in Chinese. Gan. Gan. Ni gan ma means what are you doing? Um, but you can also say uh, what the e fu. Gan la. It means basically your, my clothes dry. Gan jing is clean. And then they have gan again, and I think it means zuo here to do something. Ni gan ma, but uh, that means what are you doing? Ni zuo shen ma. Zuo is the more formal way. Ni gan shen ma is in more informal in Chinese. And then even more informal is ni gan sha. Sha is shen ma. So that's another way, but that's kou yu. And then uh, kou yu is uh, oral Chinese. And then gao, gao means uh, really high. Uh, gao xing, gao xing, gao xing is really um, kind of happy in my viewpoint. Uh, wo hen gao xing, it's also kind of excited. And then gao su, wo gao su ni, I'm telling you. Ge ge, ge ge is 
uh, ge ge is your older brother, and ge is a song. Ge, 我给你一个, I'll give you one. Uh, and then we have ge, ge means uh, to give. And then gun, uh, gun means 我跟你走, I'm going to go with you. 我跟着你 means like I'm following you. So there's two meanings for it. 工人 is a person who's a worker. 工作 is um, basically your work. And 关, 关 is um, 关 is to close something. 关上,我把门关上. Uh, that means just to close the door. Okay, so 关, 关 is like 习惯, and it just means, uh, that means you got used to it. 你习惯了吗? 你吃中, Do you eat Chinese food? Have you gotten used to it? Um, 国, 国 is a country. 国家, 国家 is a country. Um, so 国外 is outside of uh, your country. 国内 is inside. 国 is to celebrate something or to pass something. Uh, if you say 我通过了, it means, uh, basically it means you pass, for example, an exam, 考试, uh, 我通过了, uh, so that means you pass the exam. Uh, 还, 还 means, um, it can have, it, it's actually a two, it's a character with two different pronunciations. So here, um, what it is, is 还 means still, 还是, 还是我, it's still me, or 还有, there still are some, or um, that same character by itself can represent Juan, and it means uh, 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 我还了, it means basically I returned your book. Um, 孩子, 孩子 is children, and then 汉语, 汉语 is basically Chinese, not to be confused with Han Yu, which is Korean, so uh, it's just a difference in the tone. Fourth tone, Han Yu, is Chinese, and Han Yu is Korean. So that's second tone with that. So uh, the first, the character, uh, it's a different character actually, but the pronunciation could be uh, similar if you don't pay attention to the tones in Chinese. There are basically four tones in Chinese, so I'll, I'll start telling you the, uh, the tones of the characters. Han zi. Han zi are both, it's both fourth tone, and it means Chinese characters. Hao is the third tone, and so it just, uh, you can see that it's um, starting a little higher, and then it's dropping a lot, and then it goes up really a lot. So hao means good. Hao chi, uh, hao is san sheng and then our third tone, and then chi is yi sheng, which is first tone. So hao chi, hao means good, and chi means food, so it means this is good or delicious. And then hao kan, hao kan means um, uh, good looking, so hao is san sheng, and kan is si sheng, so uh, si is just like the word, the character si, which means also four and so it's dropping you can see so you know um and so um the next part is how how ting how ting means basically something is interesting to listen to how how are how are or how one how one um basically how is yi sheng and then one uh is r sheng and then r is more like People in the northern part of China, they add an R to a lot of um, words. So, in other words, you would say like, how are, how are, how are means, it says, you definitely know that's probably a Beifang Ren. So, Beifang Ren, they will basically say, how are. And, uh, but the person from the southern part of China will not use the R at the end. So, then that person will say, how one, how one. So um, and that's a general rule. Um, hao is a number. So yi hao xian is like, for example, the number one line. And um, xian is a line for like the, the metro. And then he, he basically means, it means to drink something. Uh, 
喝一点儿 ，it means to drink a little， 一点儿，一点，喝一点。In 南方，南方也是少，北方，北方呢，他们说喝一点儿 ，right？ To you drink a little， and then 喝，喝，我喝你 ，that means um myself with uh I uh the two of us together， so it would be I and you， right？ 我和你。So in Chinese, that's uh, that's that's 和 means 和 means、uh, to come together. It could also be like and, and then 很很很好我很好你好吗我很好很 means it's like an intensifier, so it means very. It's like、uh, almost like 非常 but、uh, you could say 我非常好 but a lot of people just say 我很好 You notice in Chinese you don't really even have a verb there. You just have 我 I 呃、uh, 很 a very and then good 好 I very good would be the literal translation. So sometimes in Chinese,、uh, that's that's what makes Chinese easier to learn. Believe it or not, is the fact that even though you have all these tones and all these characters, the grammar is a lot simpler unless you're going to super advanced Chinese. Now the next part is 后后 means basically. In the back, so it or it could mean after, like 后边 or 后边 means in the back, like in the back of the car. 后天 is、um, like the next, the day after tomorrow, and so 花 is、um, basically a flower, but 花 can also mean、uh, it can also be a a verb, and in that case. 花 means to spend, like 花钱 and then 花 is a word, and then 呃花花 is、uh, something that is really、um, bad and not good. Uh, but you can say say 我的电视呃电视我的电视机坏了 It means basically you add the l there. It means past tense. It means that. Your television broke down, so now、um, they have one again or hi, and I think that's just really basically the same character.、Um, and then hui hui means、uh, to return. 我回来了 That means I came back to the place where you are. 我回来了 Or um uh so um uh 回家 means um. Wei is arsheng or second tone, rising tone, and then、uh, jia is yisheng or the kind of high、um, level tone. So yisheng is jia, right? Wei jia, and then so that means I went back home. Jia is home. It could also mean family, and then hui da hui da means to answer, and then、uh, hui dao it means to Have uh, uh, returned and 回家 We already talked about that. It means to go back home. 回来 means to come back. 回去 um, That means that you're going back to some place that is not where you are right now. 回来 means you're coming back to the place where you are.、Um, 会 It means to be able. 我会中文 means that I can speak Chinese. 火车 means a A、uh, 火车 is、um, essentially a train. 机场机场 is、uh, basically an、um, an an airport. 飞机场 and 机票机票 usually it's 飞机票 right? So which is、um, basically a、um, airplane ticket. And because 飞 is to fly, 鸡蛋 is basically an egg. And G means how many? Uh, 我给你几个 Uh, how many should I give you? Or I will give you several. Sometimes it means several as well. G G means to remember. So 我记得我记得呃我记得我们呃我们俩做了很多东西我记得呃 that means I remember 记得呃我记住 and this is another thing. Same thing. 我记住我记得 Um, basically,、um, for me, that means the same thing. It just means I remember. And 家 is your family. 家里 is inside your family. 
and then Jia Ren. Jia Ren is your basically um, your family members, and uh, Jian means in between. Uh, so in between two things, usually. Um, so Jian is to see. It's fourth tone. So Jian Mian. Uh, Jian Mian is both fourth tone, and it means to see somebody's face, which actually means to meet someone. Jiao, uh, well, uh, is I am teaching you English, or uh, is uh, basically I'm teaching you Chinese. Uh, means what's your name? Uh, to be called something, or also to like shout something out. Uh, uh, let me see. 教学, 教学楼, 教学楼 is um, basically a uh, teaching building. And uh, 姐姐, 姐姐 is um, basically your older sister. And 介绍 is to um, introduce someone. 今年, 今年 is, uh, is this year. 今天 is um, today. 今 is to enter. 进来 is to enter but to come to the place where um, where the person is talking. So ni jin lai means that you're gonna come in and and see me. Uh ni jin chu means you go in there but I'm not there. Uh jiu uh means nine. And then jiu means uh just I think kind of like just or something. Ni uh uh so jiu Jo, I guess I would translate it as just. Um, I'm gonna see what um, Playco basically um, basically says about uh, this character. Um, Playco is a great app that you can use um, to uh, learn Chinese. Um, so um, and it's just basically based on the HSK. Uh, some I mean it's a dictionary as well. So um, so with Jo. Um, uh, jiu is to come near or to move towards, to undertake, to engage in, to accomplish, to take advantage of. It's with regard to, concerning, at once, right away, um, as early as, as soon as, um, in that case, as many as. So there's so many uh, different uses of the word, um, the character jiu. Uh, uh, so that's something to think about. Ni jiu, ni ni jiu, uh, chu ba. Uh, uh, so jiu is just like at once, maybe in that case. Jue da, jue da means I, you think about something or your opinion. Uh, kai is basically to, to, um, it can be to open or to drive. For example, kai chu means to drive a car, or kai hui means to start a meeting, or kai wan xiao means to uh, make a joke, and kan is to see, kan bing means to um, see the doctor, kan dao means to you've seen something in the past, well kan dao le, uh, so uh, kan jian is also similar to kan, kan dao, kan jian, kan dao. Uh, means basically the same thing. You've seen something. Kao, kao means to take a test. Um, kao shi is the test. And then, wo de kou ke, kou ke, it means that you're thirsty. Okay, so um, so if you're really thirsty, that's what's going on there. Um, so ke is a class. Ke ben is basically your notebook for the class. Kowen is the text, and ko is your mouth, and then kuai is um, money in Chinese. Like you don't say renminbi, you just say wo gei ni yi kuai. That means I give you one uh, one Chinese uh, renminbi or yuan, yuan. And then kuai is fast, and then lai is to uh, come, and then um, let's see lai dao. Lai dao is to you came somewhere, and lao it means old person or old. Uh, lao ren is an old person, and lao is old. Lao shi uh, 
is a teacher. So Lao Shi is a sign, Lao is also an honorific and is a sign of respect in Chinese. And then Liao or Le, uh, Liao, uh, um, what Shi Bu Liao, Shi Bu Liao means that I can't eat it. Um, but Le, when it's Le, it just means that something usually happened in the past. That's my um, interpretation. And le is to be really tired. And uh, lung, lung is cold. And then li, li is inside. And li bian or li bian is basically inside. And liang is, liang means two. And um, then ling, it means zero. And liu means six. Lo means uh, building, lo sang. Lo sang means basically on, uh, in, the, in the building, uh, uh, on maybe um, on a higher floor. Lo xia is uh, like on the first floor usually. Um, so lo sang means on that floor. So uh, lu, lu means street. Lu ko is um, basically like um, a corner or a block or something like a corner. So, um, and then Lu Shang, or the crossroads, for example. Lu Shang is on the road. Uh, Wo Zai Lu Shang. Uh, Mama is the mother. And um, Ma Lu. Um, Ma is a measure word for a road. So Ma Lu. Ma Shang. Ma Shang. Ma Shang doesn't mean that you're on a horse. It means that you're going to do something immediately. Uh, uh, so, and then the next, um, the next character, let's see where we're at here. Oh, ma, uh, ni hao ma, it's just that ma, which means a question there, and it has a ko on it, and it looks like the character for ma, which is a horse. So, ni hao ma, uh, it's just that you have a question, wo hen hao. Ni hao chu ma, do you want to go? Um, so, uh, the next one is my, and that means to buy something. And then man is slow, and man is um, to, you might be very busy, for example. Wo hen man. Uh, then uh, mao. Mao is uh, basically uh, like a feather. Okay, so um, it could be a feather. Uh, mao bi is like a calligraphy. Uh, brush. So, uh, may, may yo, may yo, may is to not have, for example, you use it with yo, may yo, wo may yo, ni yo, uh, kwai zi ma, wo may yo, I don't have any, do you have any chopsticks, ni yo kwai zi ma, uh, and then you answer wo may yo, and that means, um, I don't have any, wo may yo, uh, may yo kwai zi, you can also say may yo kwai zi, I don't have them. Uh, mei guan si. Mei guan si means it's no problem. Mei shen ma. It's no problem again. It's not a big deal. Mei shar. It's not a big deal. Um, shi. Mei shar. Mei shar. Mei is ar sheng. And then shi is si sheng. But then you add that r. You can also say mei shi. Like if you're in the south of China. Mei shi. Mei yo. It means not to have. And mei mei means younger sister. Mun uh, is the is the entrance or door. Mun ko is again entrance. Mun piao is the ticket. Uh, mun uh, is peng yo mun. Uh, ta mun, wo mun, ni mun. It just means plural for people. For example, um, mi fan is rice. Mian bao is um, basically bread. Mian tiao or mian tiao, mian tiao. Uh, mian tiao, <laughs> I didn't pronounce that right, but mian tiao, mian tiao, uh, I really can't pronounce it too well with the r hua, because I lived in uh, Nanfang for a long time, I lived in the south, so mian tiao, mian tiao, mian tiao, uh, is, mian tiao is uh, noodles, and ming zi is a uh, person's name, ming bai, ming bai, ming bai le, it means I understood. Ming yan, next year. Ming tian, tomorrow. Uh, na is to take. Na. So, um, so um, with na, 
Na means um which. Na li where. Na na where. Uh, so you have to pronounce that with the si uh No, san sheng. I'm sorry, san sheng to make it become which or where or na xie which ones or then if you say na, that's fourth tone. That means something else. It means that na biar uh uh uh. Na bian, na bian, na bian, or a lot of Chinese people will actually just say ne biar. They don't say na, they say ne. So, but that's okay. You can say either one. So, ne bian, or na bian, uh, na bian over there. Okay, na li, na, na li, na li. So, na li um, means over there, or there. And na, na means there. And so those are all similar. And then na xie means um, basically those. Um, so, but it's not like a question. Then nai means milk. And nai nai means uh, grandmother. And then you have nan. Nan, nan is a um, man. And nan har uh, is a, a boy. And nan peng yo is a boyfriend, and nan yuan is a man. Nan sheng is basically a um, a uh, male student, and nan is south. Nan biar or nan bian is in the south. Uh, hen hen nan, hen nan, hen nan. Nan is now nan means um, difficult. So that's another another word. Um, as well, um, that can, um, uh, nan is arsheng, so han nan is, uh, basically means very difficult. And, um, let's see where we're at. So, uh, uh, ne, ne, um, basically you say it after, at the end of a sentence, uh, um, and it's usually when you're continuing like a conversation. It's at the end of, um, it says at the end of a rhetorical question, at the end of a declarative sentence to reinforce uh, the insertion, assertion. So there's a lot of words like this, sometimes um, used to mark a uh, pause, it says as well. There's so many, or the continuation of something. Um, nung, nung is to be able to do something. Okay, um, and then ni, it means you, ni man means you, uh, you plural, nian means year, nin means you polite, uh, nyo nai means basically, um, milk, and nyu means woman, nyu are is a girl, uh, usually a daughter, uh, so, uh, nyu har, nyu har is a girl, so nyu are is a daughter. New peng yo is of is new peng yo is basically a um, girlfriend. New yuan is a woman. New sheng is a female student. Pang bian, pang bian is on the side, and then uh, pao pao is basically to run. Peng yo, peng yo, peng yo is your friend, and piao is basically a ticket. And then qi is the number seven. And then qi means basically to get up. Qi chuang. Qi is san sheng, the third tone. And chuang is ar sheng. So uh, qi chuang means to get up from bed. Qi lai. Qi lai means you got up and uh, uh, you came to this place. So, but you were right here. Ni qi lai le. So it means that you got up. Um, and qi chu is a car, qian, qian is um, basically before, qian bian is, um, is basically um, in front, and then qian tian is um, basically um, uh, two days ago, and then uh, qian, qian is money, so qian is money. So, and then after you have that, you have qian bao. Qian bao is basically just like a purse, or uh, basically a purse. 
Yeah, um, so Qing, Qing is to politely request something, like, I'm asking you to uh, eat dinner, um, so, or I'll take you out to dinner. Jia uh, means to get an excuse, uh, so, um, to, so you can be absent. So, 我请假了. So, um, 请进 means please enter my, my place, wherever I am. 请问, it means I would like to ask a polite question. 请坐 means please sit. Uh, 求 means um, uh, to, to request something. 我求你 uh, means I, I request from you. 去 means to go. 去年 means the last year. And 热 means hot. 人 means people. 人是 means to recognize. 认真 means really serious. And then, um, then, uh, 日, 日 means basically it means the, um, day. And then 日期 is like a calendar. So that's what I, um, understand of. 日期 is also the date. Yeah, it's the date. That's right. And 肉, uh, so 肉 is basically, um, meat. Um, so San is three, and Shan is um, basically a mountain, and Shangtang, Shangtang is a mall, uh, Shangdian is a um, store, and Shang means on. Um, Shangban, Shangban means to go to work, but some people say if they're from Beifang, if they would add that R, so they say, Shangbarla. Uh, what does it mean? I started working already. Uh, 我得上班 Okay, 上班 uh, means to go to work. Uh, 下班, 下班 means that you uh, are off work. Uh, okay, so that's another word. It's not actually there. Uh, 上边, 上边, uh, so 上边 is over or on top. And 上车 means to get on the on um, to get into the car. 上次 means the last time. 上课 means to um, start class. 上网 means to go on the internet. 上, uh, 上年 So now 上年 um, Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not 上年. It's 上午 上午, uh, 上午 means uh, basically um, the morning. Uh, and then 上学 Xiangxue means to go to school. Xiao, Xiao means uh, um, little or to be short of. Um, so uh, Xie means who. Uh, Xian Shang, Xian Shang means on uh, that you have it with you. Xian Ti is your body. Xian Ma means what. And then Xiong Bing, I got sick. Xiong Qi. It means to um, basically get angry. Uh, and 生日 is your birthday. 十 is um, 10. 时候 is time. 时间 is um, time. 是 is the thing, uh, to, a matter. 是 is to try. 是 is... Uh, so these are all similar characters with the same pronunciation, but they're different characters, actually, they're totally different, like shi, um, this one character is, means like a matter, and then shi means to try, and then shi means to be, shi bu shi, shi bu shi means isn't it, shou uh, is your hand, and shou ji, shou ji, uh, shou ji is uh, basically your cell phone, shu uh, is a book, and then uh, shu bao is um, like a backpack, and um, or like well, not really a backpack because bei bao is a backpack, but shu bao is like let's see how they translated that a school bag or a satchel, but we don't really say that often in English, so um, it could be like almost like a briefcase. Uh, 书店, 书店 is um, basically a bookstore, uh, 书 is a tree, 水 is water, 水果 is a fruit, 
So, and then shui means, when it's his fourth tone, it means actually to sleep. And shui jiao means to um, fall asleep. Shuo is to talk. Shuo hua is basically to say something. And uh, then se means fourth. Song means give. Sui means years. And like wo wu shi er sui. I'm 52. Ta is him. And then taman is them, but uh, all men. And then there's a ta with the nu zi pang. That means uh, a woman. Ta, it's pronounced the same way. And then taman is them. Uh, ta is two, is extremely. And then tian is a uh, day. And then tian xi is the weather. Ting is to listen. Ting dao is um, to listen and uh, like you heard something. And ting jian is that you heard something. Ting xie is to listen and to write. Tong xue, tong xue is a student um, and that like a classmate. And tu shu guan, tu shu guan or tu shu guar is the library. And wai is outside or foreign. Wai bian is outside. Wai guo is foreign. Wai yu is uh, foreign languages. Wai is basically to to hang out with people or to play. And wan is nighttime. Wan fan is to eat. Wan sang is wan sang is basically um, nighttime. And um, um, Okay, sorry, I think I said something wrong here. Wan is night, wan fan is, is actually dinner, wan sang, wan sang is um, basically nighttime, and then wang shang, wang shang means basically, that means like um, on the internet, and wang you means a person that's on the internet, wang, uh, uh, wang. Uh, right, Wang, Wang, Si Sheng. Okay, so it's um, fourth tone. Wang, it's the falling tone. So Wang Ji, I forgot. Wen is fourth tone too, and it means to ask somebody. So Wang and Wang Ji mean the same thing. Wo Wang le, wo Wang Ji le. Uh, you know, so Bie uh, Wang Ji, it means don't forget. Um, so, um, um, so next part is uh, Wa. Wa means I. Woman, it means us. Wu means, uh, Wu means um, five and uh, one fan. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Wu Fan. Wu Fan. Wu Fan is lunch. And then she is, um, she is basically, um, west and she VR is, um, the western area. Uh, or, yeah. And then she, she is to wash. She Shou Jian is the bathroom, usually like a public bathroom. And then, uh, so because she is to wash, and shou is your hands, and jian is a room. So xi shou jian is a place where you wash your hands. Um, xi huan. Xi huan is a very useful word. It's a, it's a verb, and it means like, I like something. Wo xi huan. Uh, uh, wo xi huan. Xue han yu. It means I like to learn Chinese. Uh, xia means basically... Uh, to go down, uh, so you could say like xia che, um, xia che, um, basically means you get off the um, car, or um, xia che could also mean get off the bus, for example, um, or you have, um, we'll go through some of the other ones, xia bar, xia ban, it means to get off work, and then we have xia biar is at the bottom of something, Xia che means to get off the car or the bus. Xia ci, xia ci, um, that means the next time. 
So Shang is before, is Xia in Chinese is after. So Xia uh, Ke means we've finished the class. Xia Wu means in the afternoon. And then Xia Yu, Xia Yu means it's raining. And then Xian, Xian basically means uh, first. Uh, Xian Sheng, Xian Sheng means Mister. Xian Zai means now. And then Xiang is to think about something. That's uh, the third tone. San Sheng, Xiang. And then Xiao means little. Xiao Har, Xiao Har is a little boy or a little girl. Uh, Xiao Jie, Xiao Jie is a woman, but nowadays you don't really use it that often. Uh, Xiao Peng Yo. Xiao Peng Yo is um, a little uh, friend. And Xiao Shi is um, like an hour. Uh, Xiao Xue is elementary school. Xiao Xue Sheng is elementary student. Xiao is to, um, to laugh. And Xie is to write. Xie Xie means basically um, thank you. And Xin means new. Xin Yan means uh, New Year. Xin Yan Kuai Le means have a happy New Year. Xin Qi is a week. Xin Qi Yu means a weekday. Xin Qi Tian uh, basically, oh, I'm sorry. Xin Qi Yu. Xin Qi Yu means Sunday. Sorry. So Xin Qi Tian uh, means Sunday as well. Xing. Xing means to go somewhere, but also it means okay in Chinese. Xing, Xing, Kei Ya, Kei means yes, Xing, uh, Xing, uh, means, um, okay, Xing, uh, Xiu Xi, Zaman Xiu Xi Hua, let's re uh, rest, Xue, Xue means, um, to study, Xue Sheng, Xue Sheng is a student, Xue Xi, Xue Xi, um, is basically to study. Xue Xiao, Xue Xiao is a, a school. Xue Yuan is the campus. Yao is to want something. Wo Yao, Chu Fan. Uh, ye Ye, Ye Ye is a uh, grandfather. Ye is also. And then Ye is a page. Like, uh, 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 Ye is just a page, like in a book. Like, uh, so. Uh, e is one, and then ifu means close, and then um, then let's see where we're at, and then isong means a doctor, iyuan means a hospital, and then uh, iban or ibar is half, ihuar is uh, in a while, ikuar together, ishar. Um, it's just like um, Yisha, Yisha. So Yisha, Yisha. Um, so it's basically um, Well, Kenny, can Yisha? I will let you look uh, a little. So Yisha, that's what it would mean there. Well, Kenny, can Yisha? Yisha. So um, Yisha once. Yeah, well, can you count each uh, Okay, so each or each uh, Yang is the same. Yibian, Yibian. So this Yibian is useful. It's on one side, but you can say, well, Yibian chi fan, Yibian kan dian shi. Um, I'm eating uh, and I'm also watching television. Yi diar or yi dian means a little. Yi qi, together. Woman zai yi qi, we're together. Yi xie is some. Yong is basically, basically yong is to use something. But you can also say bu yong, it means it's not necessary. Yo is there is. Um, uh, uh, or I have some, for example. Wo yo, I have some. Ni yo, you have some. Uh, yo da, it means I have some of these. Or whatever it is, yo da, uh, yo, um, uh, uh, yo, um, shoji ma, yo da, 
Yoda it just means there's some of these, yeah. There, Yo Ming, it, Hun Yo Ming, it means very famous. Yo Shi Ho, Yo Shi, uh, Yo Shi Ho, Yo Shi, Yo Shi is more like Ko Yu, and it just means basically sometimes, or Yo Xie, it means Yo Yi Xie, or Yo Xie. Uh, there are some, uh, Yo Yong, Hun Yo Yong, Hun Yo Yong is, it's useful. Uh, Yo, um, uh, no, I'm sorry, the next one is Yo, it's fourth tone. Uh, yo Bian is, for example, on the right hand side. So Yu is rain. And then Yuan is um, just the currency or a basic unit of something. So uh, Hun Yuan, this is Sansheng, Hun Yuan, it means very far away. Yue is a month. Uh, Yi Yue, R Yue, San Yue. So Yi Yue is January, R Yue, February, San Yue, March. So it's not as complicated. You just count the months in Chinese and you just put a Yue, which is a moon there, and then you know what the months of the year are. Zai means again. Zai Tian is to see you again. Zai is at. Uh, and you always put this in front of the verb. Wo Zai Wo De Jia. Shuo Han Yu, I'm at my house speaking Chinese. Zai Jia is at home. Dao is um, early. And then Zao, zao Fan, Zao Fan is uh, breakfast. Zao Shang, Zao Shang Hao, is, you say this only up until 10 o'clock in China. And then after that, that's Shang Wu. So, and Xia Wu is after 12 o'clock. Um, so, um, and then you have uh, Wan Sang, which is, um, so after 12 o'clock is afternoon, right? Wan Sang is nighttime. Zen Ma is Hao. And Zhan is a, um, basically um, a station. And Zhao is to find, Zhao Dao is to, um, to, uh, to find something. Ban I look for it for half a day. Uh and uh may you dao dao uh I didn't find it. Uh uh zhe, zhe is this Jobiar or Jobian on this side. Joli here. Jar here. Zhe is these and um uh Zhe. Zhe means here if something is going on going. Uh, so, ni gan zhe wa zhou. Zhe is like an ongoing thing. And then um, the next one is jin. Jin de. Jin de. Jin is truly. Jin de is really truly. Zheng is straight. And then zheng zai. Zheng zai means right now. Zhi dao is to know. Zhi shi is knowledge. And Zhong is um, basically Zhong is um, in the middle. Zhongguo, uh, Zhongguo is China, so it's the Middle Kingdom. Uh, Zhongjian, Zhongjian. So Zhongjian, Zhongjian is just, just uh, among. Zhongjian, Zhongjian is among. So. Now the next one, let's see. Zhongwen is Chinese writing especially. Zhong Zhongwu and Zhongwu so in at noon. So Zhongwu Xiawu or uh, Zhongwu is uh basically noon. So Zhong Xue is um basically middle school. Zhong Xue Sheng is uh middle school student. Zhong is very heavy. Uh what the Koyin Zhong means that I have a strong accent. Zhong Yao is important. Chu, ni chu zai na li? Where do you live? And here you always put zai after zhu. Zhu uh, means to live in its fourth tone. Jun uh, bei. Jun bei is to, to um, prepare. Zhuo zi. Zhuo zi is a desk. Zi is um, basically a character. Uh, and then uh, 桌子, the 字 is just means a thing here. 字, 
and then you have zou, zou, uh, zou is to go, zou lu is basically to, um, to, to walk, uh, you know, through a street, you know, go, go through the streets, and zui means most, and zui hao, zui hao de, for example, is the best, zui ho is at last, and then zuo tian is, um, yesterday, and, uh, zuo, zuo, uh, zuo shou, uh, 我用左手写字, um, I'm a 左撇字, that means, uh, 左 means the left hand side, so, uh, 右 is the right hand, uh, side, so, 右手, uh, 左手, uh, 左撇字 means a left handed person, so, um, the next part is 左边 or 左边, and that's on the left side, and then 左 is to sit down, and 坐下 is um, basically 坐下 is to sit down, and 坐, uh, this other 坐, uh, it says this is where you have to really, there's no getting around it, you actually have to learn Chinese and have to, to learn how to write the characters, because there's a lot of characters like you have so many 坐 here, but you're never going to know what they are unless you actually learn how to write the 500 characters down. So what I highly recommend is to learn how to write all these characters. And I just went through 500 characters, all the 500 characters for level one of the Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi. And, you know, uh, like I said, I lived in China for eight years, but, um, um, I, you know, it's been several years since I've been back in the United States. So um, that's one of the reasons why I want to go through all of these HSK words with you and um, because um, I like to keep my Chinese uh, strong and the best way to do that, I believe the HSK is a wonderful test for that. Um, I know America has politicized Chinese and I'm really um, disappointed in that because whoever's making those decisions that um, you know, like artificial intelligence can't really teach um, Chinese or speak Chinese really well in the U.S. or disabling the dubbing and the subtitles in Chinese. I think that's a purely political decision. Um, I don't like that as an American. I believe that we should have freedom of speech. And even if, um, for example, for some people, they don't want to know anything about Chinese culture um, I don't think they should be holding back other people because, for example, like if younger people learn Chinese, it shouldn't be uh, Americans learning Chinese just to compete with Chinese people. This is my two cents worth. You might disagree with me about that, but I personally think that um, it's better if we see each other as equals and if we learn from each other. I hope you enjoyed this. I know my accent is imperfect. Um, you know, um, lived in China for eight years and um, I studied Chinese in the university um, but I finished three years um, I passed the HSK 6 but now there are nine levels and so there's 11,000 words so um, I think this is a great chance um, to uh, you know practice my Chinese here and go through these characters and see whether I recognize all of them and, um, you know, uh, um, it's also a good w uh, way to freshen up on my Chinese and maybe I'll take the, um, the level nine test. That's what my goal would be. Okay. Take care. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast on learning Chinese and, uh, have a nice day.